It created amazing fountains of fire, drew curious onlookers, and threatened the Big Island's biggest town. 1984 was the last time Mauna Loa erupted. KITV 4's Cam Tran takes a look back at the historic eruption and shows us what we've learned about the volcano in the last 30 years. It's all new at 6. Powerful mountains of fire spewing more than 100 feet into the air and rivers of molten lava spreading across the mountainside. After nine years of slumber, the world's largest volcano woke up. It was March 25th, 1984. And it was pretty spectacular. The eruptions themselves was phenomenal. Volcanologist Frank Truesdell remembers that eruption vividly. He was one of the scientists on the ground studying Mauna Loa's fiery flow. For 22 days, the mountain rumbled as lava flowed at rates as fast as 700 feet per hour. In all, more than 220 million cubic meters of lava spewed from the volcano. It was very, very impressive. The channels themselves were many fold larger than what I've seen on Kilauea. And then being on the ground and watching the flows go by, sometimes you'd have these standing waves that were, you know, three to five times my height. As lava flowed down the volcano's northeastern rift, it threatened the Kulani Correctional Facility and flowed towards Hilo Town, putting many on high alert. Three weeks of fear in a remarkably close call. Mauna Loa is one of the five volcanoes that form the island of Hawaii that has erupted 39 times throughout history. It's a shield volcano constructed of tholeitic basalt with an elevation of 13,678 feet and covers four acres. The volcano was inactive for nine years until it suddenly erupted in 1984, following three years of slowly increasing earthquake activity below the volcano. The earthquakes were 5 to 13 kilometers deep and reached a maximum frequency just after a 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake took place beneath the southeast flank of Mauna Loa in the Kawaki fault system. Following the Kawaki earthquakes, the number of earthquakes increased gradually as the time of eruption approached. After Mauna Loa erupted in 1975, repeated EDM and tilt measurements showed that the summit area of the volcano began to inflate and continued until the eruption in 1984. Before the volcano erupted, small earthquakes began at a rate of 2 to 3 per minute at 10.55 p.m. on March 24th. 11.30 p.m. marked the onset of tremor. By 1 a.m. on March 25th, the tremor significantly increased. At 1.25 a.m., a military satellite recorded a strong infrared signal from the summit of Mauna Loa. This was indication the volcano was going to erupt soon. People in Hawaii reported a red glow above the volcano. At 4 a.m., lava fountains extended across the northeast half of Makawawi and into the upper reaches of the northeast rift zone. The fissures migrated northeastward. The fountains of lava were 10 to 50 meters high and produced 1 to 2 million meters cubed of lava per hour. At 10.30 a.m., intense steam emissions began, and by afternoon, eruptive activity began to decrease. At 4.41 p.m., a new fissure opened up. This fissure rapidly migrated both uprift and downrift. By 6.30, a line of active fountains began that were slightly longer than 1.6 kilometers. Eventually, the fissure system condensed to four centers of activity. The eruptive activity was confined to these vents for the next three weeks. Lava flows became shorter. On March 29th, a levee along the lava channel broke and another one broke on April 5th. The lava became more vicious, which blocked the channels. The eruptive activity finally ended April 14th. The flows came within four miles of Hilo, sparing the town but destroying the forests above. The volcano emitted a noxious mixture of fumes called volcanic smog. The smog mixed with atmospheric moisture, sunlight, and oxygen that created acid rainfall. The USGS estimates that more than $2.3 billion has been invested in new construction along Mauna Loa slopes since the 1984 eruption. Between 2002 and 2005, the summit of Mauna Loa began inflating again after a decade of slight deflations and continued through 2014. In 2004, the earthquake activity increased. Because it's shown similar signs as the eruption of 1984, geologists believe that Mauna Loa will erupt again. 
The experience of the 1984 volcano can help determine whether future lava flows erupted are likely to continue advancing down gentle slopes or whether lava will break out of a well-defined channel into a new flow. Now all we can do is wait and be better prepared.